Hello and welcome to this presentation. I'm going to do something on intersecting circles and this is the question that we have. The figure below shows uh, two circles of red eye 10.5 centimeters and 8.4 centimeters with the centers A and B respectively. So these are the centers we have A and B respectively. The common chord PQ is 9 centimeters. So the length of the chord is 9 centimeters. Let us write this 9 centimeters. So from P to Q, it is 9 centimeters. Now, uh, we are supposed to calculate angle A and calculate angle B in our uh, equation A, in our question A and question B. And uh, in part C, we are going to calculate the area of the shaded part, this part here, this part here, the area of the shaded part. So let us call this segment 1 and then call this uh, segment 2, segment 2. Uh, let's call this segment 1 and then we call this uh, segment 2. Now, uh, we want to calculate the angle here and for us to be able to get this angle A and this angle B here, we will have to remember something we learned in form 2 and a trigonometry and that is... Um, uh, Sokatoa. We have to remember Sokatoa. We'll have to remember Sokatoa. Whereby, uh, in this case, we are going to use sine. We're going to extract this half, the this right angle triangle here. Uh, remember, we have divided this angle into two equal parts. So after finding uh, the angle here, we are going to multiply by two so that we can get uh, the whole angle. So let us extract that part. Uh, we are going to extract the part like this. Let us have the right angle triangle here. This is the right angle triangle that we have. Like this. And we are interested in this angle A. So this is 10.5. This is the radius, centimeters. And then a half of 9 here. Half of 9. Half of 9 is going to be uh, 4.5 centimeters and also down here we have 4.5 centimeters so automatically this side is going to be 4.5 centimeters so let us use our sign uh, by saying that uh, if we get the sign inverse if we get the sign inverse of um, um, the uh, this is opposite you divide by uh, hypotenuse 4.5 you divide by 10.5 then of course you will have to multiply by 2 for us to be able to get this bigger angle here uh, this one will give you uh, 50.75 uh, degrees 50.75 degrees let us do the same on this other side we get uh, the right angle triangle like this the right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is 8.4 centimeters, the opposite is 4.5 centimeters. So we are going to say if we get the sine inverse of uh, 4.5, which is opposite, we divide by uh, 8.4, which is our uh, hypotenuse, we multiply this by 2, we are going to get angle B. This one is going to give us 64.78 degrees 64.78 degrees now we have these are 64.78 degrees this other one it is on the other side on the other side uh, this is going to give us uh, 50.75 degrees now we can proceed to our uh, part C whereby we are supposed to calculate the area of the shaded part and this is the shaded part here how are we going to get that? We are going to find the area of segment A, segment 1, area of segment 1. And the area for segment 1, it is going to be uh, given by this formula, uh, theta, theta over 360, theta over the 360 pi r squared minus a half ab sine theta. Let us substitute theta is 50.75 and then all over 360 we multiply by 22 over 7 
times the radius which is 10.5 and of course uh, we have to square this minus a half uh, we multiply by 10.5 uh, we square this the sign of uh, the sign of 50.75 50.75 so if you put this in a calculator then you will be able to get uh, 6.158 uh, square centimeters uh, as the area of segment uh, 1 or segment A what about area of segment B area of segment 2 area of segment 2 we do the same it is theta it is theta over 360 uh, pi r squared minus a half a b uh, sine theta. Let us have our theta. The theta we obtained is 64.78. We divide by 360 times 22 over 7. And then times the radius which is 8.4 we square. And then minus a half uh, times 8.4. We square this, the sine of uh, 64.75. If you put this in your calculator, I'm very sure it will be able to give you uh, 7.989 uh, square centimeters. Square centimeters. Now that we have the area, uh, the two areas, uh, we can go ahead and add them by saying that uh, the area area of shaded part is in fact um, area of segment 1 plus area of segment 2 what is area what is the area for segment 1 it is in fact 6.158 then plus segment 2 the area is um, uh, 7.989 cent uh, uh, square centimeters if you add this it is going to give you 14.14 14.145 uh, square centimeters 14.145 square centimeters uh, uh, if you are new to this channel please subscribe and share this video and leave a comment for me. Thank you so much. Uh, let's meet in the next presentation. Thank you so much.